Alrighty. What is up, guys? Hope everybody had a grand turkey day the other day. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use your, your Vroid avatar um, as a VR chat avatar. And uh, hopefully it goes better this time because <laughs> last time I... This is, this is just the second time I've made this video is, is basically what I'm saying. Anyway, <laughs> let us get get to it. What is our thing here? Uh -huh. All right. Things you're going to need. Before we get in this shit, um, you're gonna need the VRM converter. It is on Booth. Um, if you cannot find it on Booth, no need to fear. I am going to put it in the description so you can find all this shit anyway, so you don't have to look. Next up, Vroid Studio. No, you do not need one of these uh, sketch pads. You don't. You can just. It's easy. It's easy. Um, if you found this video, I'm assuming that you already have this installed. And you just want to use it for other things, um, but regardless, I will I will go and I will show you how to do so. And then next, lastly, um, also I'm hoping you already have the VR Chat SDK, but if you do not, it is okay. Just log into your VR Chat account online, hit downloads, and then go to VR Chat SDK two, and download that bad boy. All right, all right. After you've done those things and you have all of the stuff you need, the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your Vroid Studio. <laughs> Alright, and we're just going to pick a random one here. Um, last time I picked this one, so we're just going to do that. I will be making a, another video um, probably in the next few days um, explaining how to get your avatar into um, a quest if you have a quest. Um, I still am doing a little bit of research on it, but once I figure that out and all the details, I will give them to you. Um, and then I'm also using SDK2. If you want to use SDK3, you can definitely do that, but the setup is a little bit different and a little bit longer. So um, I will go over that in a different video as well. All right, so once you have your VR or your Vroid avatar in your Vroid studio and you've done all of your customization options um, and, and your avatar is looking mighty fine, you're going to go to the general editor and you're going to go to rim light. This, you see this shiny crap that's all over her skin? You don't want that there when you're, um, unless you do, but I don't think you do. Um, in VR chat, uh, no one else will be able to see this um, much, but if you look down at your avatar and you're in a very uh, lit area, it will reflect off everything and it's super bright um, to you. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go to rim light and you're going to turn all of this off for everything so the rim light is no longer there secondly you're going to go to outline and if you want this here you can have it if you want to look a little bit more cartoony you see this uh this black outline um i personally don't like it here so i turn it down on everything and there we go all right once you're done you're going to get camera and exporter. Do, 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 do. You're going to go to post effects. You're going to click anti-aliasing. Hi. Boop, close that. And then you're going to click on export. Once you're in export, depending on how good you think your PC is, you can go to material uh, reduction and you can go to material count. If you change this to be higher, um, it's going to be less optimized of an avatar. And if you change this to be lower, it'll be a lot more optimized. I'm not gonna mess with this right now um, because we're not actually gonna say, I've already had this saved. Um, but that, that is what this material count is. Um, I wouldn't mess with, you know, textures stuff uh, if you want it to look normal, um, but that is there. Then you're just gonna hit export. Once you hit export, it is going to save this file here, and this is your VRM file for your Vroid. 
Once you have that up, close out of this, you're going to open your Unity. And you're going to uh, hopefully have all those three things that I told you to download um, at the end of the video, or at the beginning of the video. Um, and you're going to drag them into your assets um, in Unity. Um, the only thing that I didn't tell you to get um, beforehand, and it is optional, is dynamic bones. If you want your um, boobs, your ass, and your hair to move if you're using a female character or just your hair to move as a male character, whatever. Anything that has dynamic bones and you want physics on, um, you're going to have to get this. You can get this in the Unity store for, I think, $20. Or you can do what everyone else does and scour discords until you find it for free. Totally not telling you to go do that, but you should do go do that. Anyway, so once you have all of these three things in here, it's not exactly going to look like mine, so don't worry about that if you're following this. Um, you're just going to hit VRM at the very top here. You're going to hit UniVRM, and you're going to hit Import. After you import, you're going to uh, find that file that you had saved wherever, probably on your desktop, um, which was this right here. And then once you do so, then your stuff should look like mine. Um, if it doesn't, don't worry. It depends on what your avatar all has. So do not worry if there's an extra file here or there's a file missing, it is okay. After you do so, you're going to highlight. So right click on your avatar should pop up like this and you're going to go back up to VRM you're gonna click that and you're gonna hit duplicate and convert to VR chat and it's going to bring up this window this is the window that I like to see uh, a lot of other youtubers that explain um, how to import this never go over these windows and these windows are very very important so if you want eye movement which I'm not going to lie I would turn this off um, the only reason I would turn this off is because in the new updates of VRChat, it does not like the Aroid avatars. They they work fine. Um, they're not gonna you know crash your computer or anything. Uh, but their eyes lock onto like everything, um, and it's really annoying because you just look like you're on crack like 24/7. So if you don't want to look like you're on crack, uh, I would uncheck more of this. Next thing, convert VRM spring bones only. No, you want to uh, do collider groups and collider groups and then after you do so you're going to go to the callback script and there's this little tiny button right here you're going to click this and you're going to search for dynamic bone and instead of not just dynamic bone if you just click uh, dynamic bone it will give you the dynamic bones and it will work don't get me wrong but for the sake of making this the best avatar we can possibly make we're going to hit dynamic bone collider and that is all you need to do in here you can mess with other things if you want to need to mess with your shoulder height or whatever uh, if it's not working for you in VR that's fine you can always come back in here uh, but for now this is all we need to do and then you're going to hit duplicate and convert to VR chat save and we wait we wait and hope that uh, it doesn't break anything <laughs> because Unity hates my computer for whatever reason. Oh man, look at that, we got it. All right, uh, this thing's gonna come up, ignore this, just hit okay. All right, so once you have, let's see, I'm just gonna make this full screen for now. Once you have all this stuff in here and you have your VR chat converted avatar, you're gonna right click and you can move your, uh, your camera around in here. And then you can use uh, W, A, S, and D to move around how you would in any other game. You're going to move real close to this bitch right here. All right, all right, all right. Kind of sideways. And you're going to click on her. So all of the white circles you are seeing are her bones. And all of the yellow circles throughout her body are the colliders. When one of these bones touches the colliders, it's it cannot pass through it. Um, you can change the settings if you want it to pass through and pass through slowly or um, can't pass it at all. You can you can edit uh, basically anything in here. But for what we're doing, it's not really going to be needed. Um, and and this is this is all you're going to need. And it sets it all up for you. Um, 
it's great. The, the, the VRM converter is amazing and how it knows how to uh, put everything correctly on the mesh without you really doing anything. So that is all you need. But first, so you're going to click on her until she lights up yellow, I believe. Let's see here. Uh, no, I lied. So when you're on this page, uh, you can see her bones. If you double click, she turns yellow. Um, if you just click on her once, she'll pop up like this. Uh, these is where it says view the uh, view position and uh, avatar descriptor. Don't mess with these, the X and the Y, just X with the, mess with the Z. And it's 0 0.16 or 0 0.15, let's go over there. You see this little ball that's right here? You're just kind of going to get that in between her eyes um, as best you can. I think that's probably perfect right there. Uh, this will be different uh, depending on the avatar, but the your X and the Y axis should always be already straight in the middle of her head. So don't, don't worry about that. You just need to move it to the side a little bit. So it is right between her eyes. So you're golden there. Um, this is your viewpoint, basically. You can change your viewpoint to wherever the hell you want to look out of this body, but I would I would highly recommend it's out of the eyes because it doesn't really make sense. Okay. Once you have done this, this is it. This is it. You have your avatar. If you need to add anything else on here, I, I may do other tutorials on how to add swords and, and stuff like that um, and do effects. Um, of course, we're getting an ad on uh, Spotify because I don't have Spotify Premium because I am a scrub, but that is okay. All right. Once this is done in here, you're going to hit average, or, uh, VR Chat SDK, and you're going to go down to Show Control Panel. You're going to sign in. And then you're going to go over here to Builder. And then you're going to hit Build and Publish for Windows. Um, if you're doing this on the... SDK three, um, you also have build test option. You I, and I recommend going in, hitting build test option, going into the game, testing if it works. Uh, if there's anything you want to change, change it and then hit uh, build and publish for Windows. But for now, it's not a problem. If it does not have this, if this is grayed out, um, do not do not worry. Oh my God, this ad is talking over me. It's in the irritating. Okay, um, do not worry about that. These things that say auto fix, if there's any red things like this, um, do not do not worry. You're just gonna hit auto fix on every anything that's stopping you. It's gonna it, it, the main one that's gonna be stopping you is always going to be the top. So just hit auto fix on the top. If it lets you do it, do it. If it doesn't, hit the next one auto fix. If it doesn't, you know, and so on. Pretty easy. Then we're just going to save this as really whatever we want. We're gonna name her fucking Bob because you know. Why the hell not? This may take a little bit, um, depending on how big your avatar actually is. Come on now. The less materials and stuff you have, the faster this will load up, hopefully. Unless you have a computer like mine, and then it hates you regardless. <laughs> It's going to pop up a window right in here um, where you were viewing your avatar at. And it's just going to ask you uh, if it has uh, not safe for work content, um, any uh, gore, anything like that. Just check mark the things that actually apply um, to your avatar. I'm just going to wait to see if it's actually going to pop up. It may not because my computer has been very, very irritating today. Um, but yes, uh, just check mark the things that apply to your avatar and then name your avatar and then uh, you can just submit it. Oh, it's trying. Compile shaders. All right. Okay. Um, it's really, really straightforward once that opens. It's taking an ungodly amount of time. <laughs> oh my all right well but after that you can go into your vr chat log into your account 
and it's gonna pop up uh, not in your saved avatars it'll pop up um, and like or not in your favorite avatars it'll pop up I don't remember exactly what it's called um, but it's like uh, my creations I believe um, and you can have like 500 of your creations so you don't have to worry about favorites anything like that um, I am still gonna wait to see if this brings it up because I kind of want to show you guys even though I don't really need to but if uh, if you know how to do all that and you've already uploaded an avatar and you were just trying to figure out how to get your Vroid avatar into um, Unity, it's super easy as you can see. Come on, <laughs> my uh, my Vroid as you can see looks tired as hell. I don't know what's going on with his eyes. Shading on my eyes is a little wonk. If I can get up a little closer here. He don't know. He don't know what's going on. He's he's big tired, which is kind of funny considering I like just woke up, and I'm just now noticing this. All right. I swear my computer's cursed. <laughs> Unity takes like my entire PC to run. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I can't close out of this either, so it's whatever. Um, but yeah, that that is it. That is, that's all you need to do. It'll bring up another window. Uh, check mark the things that apply. Um, name it and just hit um, create, and you're good. You're good to go. And it's in your game, and it's all uploaded, and you can uh, show all of your uh, your friends in VR chat how how cool how much of a chad you are so that's gonna be the video guys i appreciate you watching i will uh i will see you next time um if you um want any other game stuff or any other tutorials they're gonna be coming out really really soon um i mostly cover vr stuff if this is like the first video you're seeing so um but youtube youtube i am i am getting on it i'm gonna try to make more youtube videos um, but I, I am mostly over on my Twitch, um, and I will be streaming some ARC with my buddy um, right after this video. So if you're interested in ARC, um, I have not really played ARC, and it's going to be a blast, I'm sure. Um, I'm going to get my ass beat a lot. <laughs> so, I feel like that's just a trend with, with my Twitches, me getting my ass beat. But, alright. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Peace!